Luis, is there? Oh, is there? Can I borrow her binder just to make a quick copy? Of oh, this is long, isn't it? Good morning, everybody. Blessings. <laughs> can I take this one? I'm just going to make zero. Thank you.
few words of remembrance. Oh, okay. Good morning and, and a warm welcome to all of you um, <clears throat> on this difficult day uh, where we turn to the Lord and ask for his grace and his strength. Um, I'd ask you uh, to take a moment and to silence your cell phones, uh, if you would, uh, for a moment. And uh, we will uh, begin our celebration today with a few words of remembrance. Hello. So I never could have imagined I'd be up here having to speak in front of you all for this occasion. We are all gathered here today to remember and celebrate Luis Domingo Jimenez Jr., who was so suddenly and tragically taken away from us way too soon. For those of you who have not met me before, my name is Ravi Valori Pali. I've known Lou since he was 16, as he entered college, as this doe-eyed kid, just eager to know everybody. He wanted to be involved with everyone and everything that was around him. His interests in all the Latin organizations on campus led him to our fraternity and soon led him to becoming a brother of Lambda Theta Phi. Even then, he had a maturity that bellied his youthfulness, uniting different groups, always ready to lend a hand to those in need, and just being ready to listen and be supportive when needed. More than anything, his becoming a brother gave many others, including myself, the opportunity to bond with him as family and be able to share so many experiences going forward in our lives. The countless road trips in college, the second Thanksgiving dinners at each other's family's homes, to celebrating the biggest moments of our lives and getting married and having kids. I'll be forever grateful for fate having brought us together. But for those of us here, I'm sure you know, you did not have to be part of his family or one of his fraternity brothers for him to accept and treat you as part of his own family. One of the biggest themes that represented Lewis was the idea of bringing those around him together. For those he cared about, fraternity, blood or friend, he was happiest when people were around to make memories in which we all could remember and celebrate. As a person, Lewis was truly one of the strongest people I have ever known. There was no challenge you could place in front of him that he would back down from or that could make him quit. From having to navigate being a first generation immigrant from the DR as a kid, to finding a way to graduate school early at 16, to going back to college to get his degree and then figuring out his own way to build a career as he did. Then more recently, again, returning to school to get the graduate degree that he wanted. And even as he departs us, he completed that degree and he will receive it this month. While doing all of this, he never wavered in being there for his younger brothers, his parents, and really any friend in need. He wasn't necessarily a willing leader when he was younger, but always led by example. And as he matured into adulthood, became someone others depended on, to whom they went to for advice, and eventually helped so many others in developing their own careers and finding their path in life. He was a true definition of what a mentor should be. 
as the head coach guiding you the right way, as a cheerleader keep pushing you forward when you were tired, or just being that friend to give you that needed word of wisdom or offer one of his broad shoulders to lean on and support. To his family, Lewis was always trying to make his parents proud. And that was a large part of his drive in life. I do not think he ever gave them a reason to be disappointed. And as he matured into a man, he really did become that pillar to represent all the hard work they put in by bringing him to the US and trying to give him the opportunities he had. But as one can see, he became a pillar not just to his parents, but for all of those around him, representing how to be the best friend, the best brother, the best son, the best son, husband, and no less the best father as well. Speaking of Lou as a husband and father, as he married and grew his family, his priority above else was taking care of them while being a dedicated husband and an amazing dad to his kids. Nothing made him happier than this. While I was able to see how elated he was to marry Chris at their wedding, due to my own traveling and for school and training, I really didn't get the opportunity to actually get to know Chris until Lewis brought her to Chicago while pregnant with King. To watch him constantly smile at her, even as she looked away. Hear him talk about how, how excited he was to be a dad at the time. I really had never seen Lewis as happy as he was at that, at that point in life. After King was born, and as Chloe later joined them, you could see how he embraced and cherished more than anything the role of being a dad and a husband. They became his true passion, and everything he did was for them in the end. As we remember Lou, for me personally, I'm gonna miss the friend that was always there when he needed him. Always putting everything ahead of himself. I'm gonna miss our long talks catching up after so long apart. And the advice you said you were hoping to give me as a dad to be. I'm gonna miss you gushing about your kids. Letting me know all the little things that Chloe and King were doing as they grew up as well as all the big things you had planned to do with Christina, not just the, this year, but in the years to come. And lastly, I'm gonna miss seeing and knowing how ecstatic you would have been to tell me again how you were proud to be a dad to your unborn child. I hope as we leave here to get today, we can continue to honor the legacy he left behind within us all. So make peace around, make peace with those around us so we can enjoy those moments together that much more. Be the best mentor, friend, sibling, son, daughter, and spouse you can be. As we remember Lou, know that it would have made him happiest to be looking down to see all that he represented in life, the positive things he embodied being continued in those he loves. Now, I would like to leave you with some poignant words excerpted from the writings of some of our fellow fraternity brothers in remembrance of Lou. As we say goodbye to our beloved friend, brother, son, husband, and father, let us not dwell on the silence his absence leaves behind. Instead, let us fill that, science, that silence with stories of his life laughter that he would love to share, and the love that he spread so feel freely. Louis Jimenez Jr. may have left us in his body, but his spirit, his ideals, and his love will forever remain in our hearts. Now please join me in honoring Louis with a moment of silence. Amen.
Thank you. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In the waters of baptism, Lou died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him eternal glory. Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, as our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is deepened. May our hope of resurrection for your dear departed Lou also find new strength through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated as we listen to the readings from the Word of God. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing away was thought on affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace. For, in, for if in the eyes of men indeed they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality, chastened a little, they shall be greatly blessed because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. Those who trust in him shall understand truth and the faithful shall abide with him in love because grace and mercy are with his holy ones and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. El Señor es mi pastor, nada me falta. El Señor es mi pastor, 
nada me falta. El Señor es mi pastor, nada me falta. En verdes praderas me hace recostar. Me conduce hacia fuentes tranquilas. Y repara mis fuerzas, el Señor es mi pastor, nada me falta. Me guía por el sendero justo, por el honor de su nombre. Aunque camine por cañadas oscuras, nada temo porque tú vas conmigo. Tu vara y tu callado me sosiegan. El Señor es mi pastor. Nada me falta. Preparas una mesa ante mí, enfrente de mis enemigos. Me unge la cabeza con perfume y mi copa rebosa. El Señor es mi pastor. No Tu bondad y tu misericordia me acompañan todos los días de mi vida. Y habitaré en la casa del Señor por años sin término. El Señor es mi pastor. La A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Thessalonians. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about, that, of, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, so too will God, through Jesus, bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we tell you this, on the word of the Lord, that we are who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with the word of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, will come down from heaven, and lead the dead in Christ, will rise first. <clears throat> Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus, we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If they, are no, if they were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am also may be. Where I'm going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you're going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. En aquel tiempo, Jesús dijo a sus discípulos, No pierdan la paz. Si creen en Dios, crean también en mí. En la casa de mi Padre hay muchas habitaciones. Si no fuera así, yo se lo habría dicho a ustedes, porque voy a prepararles un lugar. Cuando me vaya y les prepare un sitio, volveré y los llevaré conmigo, para que donde yo estoy, estén también ustedes y ya saben el camino para llegar al lugar a donde voy. Entonces Tomás le dijo, Señor, no sabemos a dónde vas, ¿cómo podemos saber el camino? Jesús le respondió, yo soy el camino, la verdad y la vida. Nadie va al Padre si no es por mí. Palabra del Señor. Gloria a ti, Señor Jesús. You can be seated. We're going to have this morning like a, a two-part homily. First part by me, second part by Monsignor. <clears throat> First, you know, um, I have known Luisito, so Luisito for us, because he was like a, another son for us, Luisito. Luis, Lu, since he was a child, he was a very smart and happy kid. And one of his dreams, I remember, was to be a doctor when he grew up. And I think that he had been a great doctor because of one personal attri attribute, that many people associated with Sito with was kindness. He was a kind man. Yes, he was a big man with a great and gentle heart. But as a young man, he was also attracted by technology, computers, and all those things. He was always helping us with our computers' problems. And I tell you, thanks God, you know, that he was there to help us with those things. And eventually, he became a professional in that field. But I want to share with you something special about Louis. It was the occasion of my 50th, um, I would say, birthday. <laughs> and that uh, he gave me a very special gift. He designed like a picture. Actually, what he did is he took a $50 bill. He somehow removed the face of her. President, uh, who was there, Ulysses Grant, a two-time president, and put my smiling face there in that. And you know that when, if you look at a $50 bill, you see that uh, Ulysses Grant is very serious in that, in that uh, $50 bill. So that was myself smiling in that bill. So I asked him, uh, I mean, how do you do this? And he said, it was easy. Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> He was 15 years old at that time, and he was telling me it was easy. And I didn't even know how to, I had a clue how to do that. But also, you know, in that thing that he prepared for me, that picture, there was an intriguing quote at the top of the picture that read, he who carefully thinks 
<clears throat> becomes a great one. I, I don't know where he got that quote from, um, but I can tell you that there are many biblical references to that. To care about little things in life means, and to be other things, you know, to care about others. Not just about myself, but to care about others. Being there when somebody, when someone is in need, regardless of the inconveniences it may create. Now, think about this. There is this 15-year-old, this 15-year-old boy telling me, a grown-up, 50-year-old man, about these things. Looking back, you know, in retrospect, I think that that's exactly what happened in my life, as well as in Lucito's life. Because I do remember that two years after that, I, I made the decision after many, many months of thought and all that to to get into the program to be a deacon, to serve others. And that's what I've been doing for many years now. And as far as we see, though, I can tell you this. I cannot, I cannot tell all the things that he may have done in your life. And I'm pretty sure that um, you will have a lot of things to say about him. But just the outpouring of love and good memories about Luisito and the fact that all of you are here today is a testimony to Luis's life, the kind of person that he was, a caring and humble man. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, uh, 29, birth, is one that I like a lot and that I can associate here today with this situation. Jesus says, come to me, all you who are labor and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. The Louis that I know was just like Jesus' ask, meek and humble of heart. May he find rest in Jesus' arm forever. Amen. Amen. I wanted to begin by expressing my, my deepest condolences to Christina, and to King and Chloe, to Luis and, and Maris, and Abraham and Adriel, and all of you here, family and friends alike, to mourn the loss of Lou. I know he was Louis, Lou, Luisito, uh, Lada, Luis. I'm just going to call him Lou. We just celebrated the passion and death of Jesus, and the reason why we have so many flowers and a big tall candle is because we also celebrated the joy of the resurrection. Jesus' disciples had, and his mother, had some very difficult days after the loss of Jesus, wondering what happened, a lot of pain, a lot of tears, the stinging of the loss of death. Something that everyone in this church is experiencing, and some of us rather acutely. But they did not remain in the pain of loss, because they were renewed by the truth of the resurrection and that unexpected joy that Jesus was alive. That Jesus was alive. And that we could be alive in him. We are in the midst of 
deep loss and deep shock and the danger of despair that comes with this kind of a loss. We heard the beautiful words about this wonderful man. With faith, we can find renewed hope. With faith, we can actually find peace in the midst of loss. I think the danger, and it's very understandable, is to say, come on, God, right? Couldn't you have done something there? And I think that's sort of what everyone was saying when Jesus died. And they were unexpected with the truth that they could have never imagined that he was alive. And I proclaim to you today, even though we are stung with loss, Lou is still alive. And he is alive in Jesus. And while we suffer the loss of not seeing him face to face, there is a guarantee from Jesus that we will see him again and that he remains with us and in us through Christ. The book of wisdom says the souls of the just are in the hand of God. We heard the witness of the just and wonderful life of this young man. Lou has gone home, and so it's hard for us who remain. But the hope that we have, that wisdom tells us, is that we are immortal souls, that we will never, ever, ever, ever cease to exist. And our life on this earth is very short, for some way too short. But what we can thank God for is the gift of his life. Imagine life without him. All the joy that we had, all the laughs, all the goodness. As short as his life was, too short. We can pause and say, thank you, Jesus, that you put him in my life. Because every life is a gift from God. The promise of eternal life is a real one. And as wisdom says, the faithful shall abide with him in love. The promise of eternal life is a promise of eternal love. We pray for Lou, right? We trust that he's in the fullness of heaven. But a very Catholic teaching is most of us need a little final purification before getting to the glory, the glory of heaven. Because God wants to fill us with the fullness of his love. And that's why we have a mass. That's why we pray to send the soul home to heaven and how we continue to love. I, I love the reading from Thessalonians that was chosen because it has this line. We do not want you to be unaware about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest. Grieve we do, but the Christian does not grieve like the rest, because the Christian understands that those who have fallen asleep are being raised to the glory of heaven by God himself, by Jesus himself. Jesus Christ suffered, died, and rose again. He suffered a very brutal death, a shocking death, but he died because he loved Lou. And when he was dying on that cross, he had him in mind personally. And this day, it's a great mystery to understand why God took him to himself at this point. I cannot explain that, but we will know one day and we will be happy for him and happy that Jesus died so we could be with him for all eternity. 
It's hard to receive all these words in the midst of great grief, but the encouragement, brothers and sisters, from Paul is to console one another with these words, that the triumphant Lord will lead us all to the glory of heaven if we have faith. Jesus speaks to all of your hearts today in the gospel. And he says these words, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. Through faith in Jesus, we receive our consolation. And the truth is this, that in the house of God, in the house of the Father, there are many dwelling places. Everyone in this room, everyone in this church has a room saved for you in the glory of heaven. Lou is receiving that room right now. If we remain faithful to Jesus, we will receive a promise that we cannot imagine. So death is this reminder for us to remain faithful to our faith. Because as Jesus tells us, he is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the only way to the glory of heaven. So we examine our own lives in Jesus, our own lives of faith. And with this difficult moment, perhaps God is calling us to himself a little bit more through the intercession of Lou, who is now with us and praying for us in a particular way. We mourn a great loss, but we beg Jesus to give us the hope that comes from the promise of the resurrection. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed Through the mercy of God, rest in peace. God, the Almighty Father, raised... Christ from the dead, with confidence we ask him to save all his people living and dead. For Louis, <clears throat> who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that he may now be admitted to the company of the saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our brother who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that he may be raised up on the last day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased relatives and friends, and for all who have helped us, that they may have <clears throat> the reward for, of their goodness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who had fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the family and friends of our brother Louis, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord, who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse them of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated as the altar is prepared and the gifts are brought forward. Pan de vida, cuerpo del Señor, Santa Copa. Cristo Redentor, su justicia nos convertirá, poder servir, porque Dios
Dios es amor. Somos el templo de Dios, frágiles seres humanos. Somos el cuerpo de Cristo llamados a ser compasivos. Pan de vida. Cuerpo del Señor, Santa Copa, Cristo Redentor, su justicia nos convertirá en poder servir, porque Dios es amor. Ustedes me llaman Señor, me inclino a lavarles los pies, hagan lo mismo humilde, sirviendo unos a otros, pan de vida, cuerpo de Santa Copa, Cristo Redentor, su justicia nos convertirá poder servir, porque Dios es amor, poder servir. Porque Dios es amor. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept a sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servant, Lou, may be taken up to glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, and those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. seated. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, 
so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. Cada vez que comemos de este pan y bebemos de este cáliz, anunciamos tu muerte, Señor, hasta que vuelva, Señor. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray on the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance of your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Lou, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who is united with your son in death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Kneel or be seated. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Offer Holy Communion to all those uh, Catholics that are spiritually prepared. Um, if you'd like to come in line to receive a blessing, you're more than welcome to come into one of the communion lines. I just ask you to place your hands this way uh, to receive a blessing, okay? There's going to be three lines for communion, two uh, in here in the center aisles, and there will be one uh, line uh, over to the left. Yeah. 
lleven al del trono del Señor, que los mártires y santos te reciban y te den la vida eterna el Señor, que los ángeles en coro te reciban en la ciudad santa de Jerusalén. Y con Lázaro, pobre en esta vida, tengas el descanso eterno con Dios. Please rise. <coughs> Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that your servant Lou, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Your friends, before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Mm. 
Santos del Señor, vengan a su auxilio, vengan a encontrarlo, ángeles de Dios. Reciban esta alma y preséntenla a nuestro Altísimo. Dios, que Cristo quien te llama te lleve hacia Él, que los ángeles te lleven a los brazos de Abraham. Reciban esta alma y a nuestro altísimo Dios. Dale el descanso eterno, Señor, y que brille en él la luz eterna. Reciban esta alma y preséntenla a nuestro altísimo Dios. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Lou in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, He will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Lou in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, Go in peace. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Dale el descanso, Señor. Dale el descanso. Abre de amor tu salvación te reciban los ángeles en su ciudad te reciban los mártires en su amistad Dale el descanso, Señor, dale el descanso. Abre tus brazos de amor, tu salvación. Que se apaguen las lágrimas en nuestro hogar. Porque existe otra vida, Dios nos la da. Dale el descanso, Señor, dale el descanso. Abre tus brazos de amor, tu salvación.
Thank <laughs> you. 